I'm Michaela Chester with NCAA Digital, just over three weeks into the season, and I've got a look at some of the biggest impact college softball freshmen to watch in 2022. I'm looking mostly at the top 25. So let's get right into it, and let's start with an absolutely electric player at Florida State, Michaela Edenfield. Edenfield is a redshirt freshman this year, but has become a special player for an FSU team that is showing out so far. She is hitting over 400 with six home runs. Behind the plate, she's a strong leader with a calming presence. She's playing with poise and confidence, going to be a spectacular year for Edenfield and the Knowles. Next, another obvious one, Jordy Ball at Oklahoma. Not much explanation needed here for the dominant freshman ace for the number one team in the country. 6-0 in the circle so far, a 9-6 ERA and a 106 opponent batting average. Oh, and 65 strikeouts and eight walks through 37 innings pitched. A special freshman that will be one of the best pitchers in the nation across the board for years to come. Next, I've got Kendra Falby at Florida. Falby is leading a top five team in hitting with a 519 average. She's got two homers and 12 RBIs and a 16 for 17 in stolen bases. In the second week, she was the D1 softball SEC freshman of the week after batting 550 with a double, two triples, and three RBIs in six games and going six for six in stolen bases. Pretty impressive. Then there's Reagan Walsh, a Gator as well, who's second on the team with 17 RBI. Over at Bama, you've got to keep your eye out for Dallas Goodnight. Again, this is a freshman leading one of the top teams in the nation in batting with a 425 average. She's been coming up big in big moments as well. And then her roommate, Megan Bloodworth, who blasted a grand slam in her very first collegiate at bat for the Tide and leads the team in slugging and tied for first in homers with four. Emma Lemley has been making a name for herself at Virginia Tech too, proving to make up a great pitching duo alongside Keely Richard despite a loss against Bama. Lemley went six innings, giving up two earned runs on five hits with seven strikeouts and no walks. She has a .77 ERA on the season, a 5-1 record, and a 133 opponent batting average. Next, you might remember Olivia Johnson at Washington, who had one of the best collegiate starts you could ask for and the best in Husky history. Two home runs in her first two at-bats and a 7-7 seven seven start at the plate. She did not record an out until her 16th at bat. Johnson will likely be known for her power for years to come. Louisiana has redshirt freshman Stormy Kotzelnik who sports a 515 average at the plate and a team high slugging percentage. I also want to mention though a few other freshmen on the team. They've got Alexa Langliers who's also been consistently in the lineup as a freshman and leads the team with four homers. And then Lainey Credor and Kayla Falterman are another two freshmen on the team hitting 500. Then you've got Sam Landry, who is currently leading their pitching staff, 5-0 record on the season so far. At UCLA, you've got Savannah Polo, who made her way into the lineup of a top five team and was just named Pac-12 Freshman of the Week. After a six RBI weekend at the Mary Nutter Classic, she knocked in the winning run against Tennessee and ranks second on the team with 14 hits and 27 total bases. Then you've got Anna Gold at Duke hitting 395 with three homers so far for a top program. She secured the spot at third base for the Blue Devils and she's great defensively and hits for power. Lastly, Alexia Lacatina at Kentucky. She has only pitched 16 innings so far this season but has three wins, no losses, and a .42 ERA with 15 strikeouts and just three walks. Some more names to mention because there are always too many for the time frame allotted, but Annabelle Widger at Michigan, Stevie Hansen at Oregon, Sydney Sanders at ASU, Kylie Macy at Georgia, and so many more.